Hi, so today is coop cleaning day. It's the end of April. It's a little bit later than I would normally do when we lived in Virginia. I usually did it in like February, but we're in Maine now. So what I did is I raked out, I used my handy rake. I raked out all the straw and the, um, I used the deep litter method. So we had about, I don't know, eight or 10 inches of composted straw, pine needles, some shavings, um, all the chicken manure. And it was all kind of like composted dirt. So the top layer that was still basically straw, I just raked into the run. I threw some sunflower seeds in it and the chickens started spreading it for me over the muddy parts of the run. And then the rest of it um, goes in the compost pile to use on the garden next fall after we're done planting. So now I'm going to give the coop a spring cleaning. Well, it actually started. So after I raked the coop out, what I did was um, use white vinegar and water in a bucket and just scrubbed all the surfaces, the, the walls, the floor, the roofs, the nesting boxes, everything. Um, opened all the windows, opened all the doors. You know, it's just white vinegar. It's a lot safer than bleach. There aren't any harmful fumes, but it still needs to dry. So you do it on a nice sunny day. Then I used my orange peel cleaner, which I'm almost out, but I make this myself. Um, I use it as a spot cleaner and as an interim cleaner in the coop. It's basically orange peel, citrus, um, the citric acid, is a great degreaser. It's great for getting dried poop off of things. And I also, um, it's in white vinegar. I let it steep for a couple weeks. And then um, I also put cinnamon sticks and vanilla beans in it. it. Smells really good. Both of those help repel insects. So I just keep it in a spray bottle and, you know, just randomly I will spray. My spray is clogged. I'll spray, you know, the nesting boxes around the nesting boxes on the roosts, whatever. It's just a good um, interim, like all all spring, summer, and early fall, I'll just usually use this to clean, spot clean. So now that my coop floor is um, dry and it's all cleaned, what I'm going to do is put down some Dukashi. I love Dukashi. So this is a, um, it's to help with the ammonia. Uh, chicken manure is really high in ammonia and obviously um, that can be really, really detrimental to chicken's respiratory systems. Since we have ducks, I'm really careful with the ammonia because they sleep right on the floor. So while the chickens are up on the roosts and might not be bothered, the ducks are only a few inches off the ground. So I'm really careful to keep the ammonia levels down. So Dikashi is all natural. Um, if you can take a look at it. It, it kind of looks like wheat bran or something. And if you look on the label, there's like three ingredients. It's, um, it is wheat bran, there's probiotic, um, blackstrap molasses and some water and that's it and it fights ammonia and it really does a great job so what I do is I first sprinkle on the floor you know pretty liberally like under the roosts and where the ducks like to sleep on the floor but I mean you don't need a, a layer of it but you know I just sprinkle it pretty liberally around this is a pretty big bag so it lasts a while so you know just sprinkle it to give the um, a nice base on the floor first then I just take straw. We use straw in our coop. Our ducks, ducks love straw in the winter. It's really a great insulator. Um, I like the chopped straw better. This doesn't appear to be chopped, um, but the ducks love whatever kind of straw. So in the summer, I just use a thin layer. So, you know, I just take the flakes and kind of separate them and just, you know, scatter the straw on the floor. Our coop is, um, our coop is about eight by 10. And I might use maybe three flakes of straw, four flakes of straw at a time. So one bale um, will last me through, you know, two or three cleanings and even more than that because I only clean really under the roosts is where it, it gets dirty and, and where the ducks sleep under the nesting boxes. The rest of the straw stays pretty clean for, for quite a while. I mean, for weeks and weeks and weeks. So I just do that and um, the chickens and ducks will be so excited when they see they have a clean coop. And then the, um, the stokashi, you use it as needed. So, you know, once a week or so, um, you know, I'll sprinkle a little bit more. I turn over the straw every morning under the roost and, and where the ducks sleep because that's where it gets dirty. So when I turn that over, you know, sometimes I'll sprinkle some. It does a great job in keeping the ammonia down. Um, you know, it isn't any excuse not to clean your coop, but even in the cleanest coop, especially with ducks, you're going to get some ammonia smell. So that's, um, that's what I use. We also use it in our kitty litter box because um, our cat 
used to sleep out in the garage, but now he's in the house at night in the laundry room. So I definitely don't want ammonia smell in the laundry room. And I sprinkle Dukashi over his litter. We use the um, natural shaving litter in the bag, and I just sprinkle the Dukashi over that, and it works really wonderfully. So anyway, that's how I clean my coop. I don't use any chemicals. I use all natural. The Dukashi is actually um, non-GMO. And it does have some organic ingredients. So, you know, if you're worried about your chicken's health, if they eat it, it's not a problem. I mean, you could probably eat it if you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it. But it's, it's perfectly safe. So that's how I clean my coop naturally for happy, healthy chickens.